fiction face-off in space. Apparently, it is impossible to fire a gun in space. You mean like in a vacuum? Exactly. They can go to test it. I've always wanted to go to space. Me too. Guns in space. What could possibly go wrong? Although Hollywood would have us believe otherwise, the prevailing theory is that a gun will fail to fire in space for two reasons. First, the lack of air and atmospheric pressure in the vacuum of space may cause the slug to deform. Second, without oxygen, the primer can't ignite the propellant. And to test these theories, Adam and Jamie need to fire a gun in space, down here on Earth. That looks good. That's going to be beautiful. To do that, they're building a bulletproof vacuum chamber. And once Jamie inserts a pressure gauge, their soon-to-be-sealed chamber is ready to have all of its air removed. Every single atom. There it is. But first, a test fire. Before we pull the trigger on this gun in the vacuum, we're going to fire the gun in the vacuum chamber without a vacuum to be able to compare the two. In three, two, one. was a bang. Well, seemed to work pretty well. It's time to reload. Gun is hot and suck some air. We're waiting for our vacuum chamber to come up to a full vacuum, and then we're going to pull the trigger on our revolver, and I am here to tell you that I think it's going to go bang. I don't think the vacuum's going to have any effect on the gunpowder's ability to propel a bullet out the barrel of our revolver. This is it. With the chamber evacuated to a full vacuum. Are you ready? I'm ready. At Adam's remote finger on the trigger. All right. Here we go. Will Hollywood have its day, or as the myth suggests, will the gun misfire? <sighs> Firing a gun in a vacuum. Three, two, one. There it is. There it is. Successfully shot. That gun fired in a vacuum. It did. The images are spectacular. And the details fascinating. I swear, if I just saw this footage, I would totally believe that it was a special effect. It doesn't look real. Yeah. Amazing. But exactly what happened? Cue forensic duo, Drs. Heidemann and Savage. Now that we know a gun can fire in a vacuum, the question arises, does the bullet behave any differently in the vacuum than in the air? We might posit that the bullet would move slower in the air because the air provides resistance where the vacuum provides none. And in fact, we did find a very minor difference. The bullet in the air traveled 5% slower than its partner in the vacuum. It's not a big result, but it is also borne out in a tiny way by the bullets that we found embedded in the glass. The bullet in the vacuum made a slightly larger pressuring in the glass than the one in the air. It's a tiny difference, but... Interesting one nonetheless.